Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale, and we're here once more playing Tales of Zestiria. Last time we left off, we managed to make our way to Prelate's Pasture, and of course everything's wrong. Why would it be right? That'd be too easy. Anyway, let me check my list of things to find. We've got two Normans, and... Two points of interest. Excellent. I should probably keep that one of the... Yeah, this one up. Because at least then I can know what I'm kind of looking for. Need to look for... Some wheat. Wheat. Which I'm pretty sure I'm surrounded by, so I don't need to... I don't know why I need to look up where to find that. I should just be able to walk into this field right here and be good to go. Unless you're gonna make me look for a very specific patch of wheat, which just seems mean. I am unamused. Grossly unamused. Should I be looking for something? Like a landmark that'll make this a bit more there obvious? Might be something nearby. Sorry, help me out, buddy. Like, does the wheat look fancier in certain places? Maybe if I go over to this fence and stare at it? Tell me your secrets, wheat! I demand to know. This is going to be a long episode of me just running into wheat fields, isn't it? Joyous of jo A Norman! That was easy. What up, friend? Um... Hmm... Let's see, who else does combos? Kinda sounds like your thing, doesn't it? Yeah. All you, girl. What wheat am I looking for? Yeah. Even out of the rain, it's still so cold. Phew. I'll say. Ugh, oh, damn. Ugh, they've gone from scary to annoying. <laughs> still, to think Seraphim sneeze just like we do. Hey, demons sneeze. And have allergies, apparently. Also, is that another crucible of malevolence? And if so, whose is it? Take a break from trying to find that wheat field. Let's see what I'm looking for. Steer? Steer, apparently. Ooh. Treasure. It seems there's a treasure chest near us. Who the hell leaves cheesecake in a treasure chest? We can't afford to hold back. We can't do this. It 
Kokuyas were going to get skunked. They sure seem persistent. Ready? Prepare yourself! Shade luminescence! Gotcha. You do what you want to do. I actually remind myself how to do that, you know. It's been a while. Forgot. Now I know. Oh, good. You're weak to water. Perfect. I forgot that I trust Edna up. Uh, had to. She's the mascot. Weak to wind. Stop it. Yeah. Crimson Edge. Well done, everyone. Right, I was going towards the Crucible of Malevolence. Or at least what I assume is a Crucible of Malevolence. So hard to tell, there's just so many things out here. Got one more Norman to find. Gotta find the right wheat field, apparently. Also, I see some graphical problems off in the distance. It's probably a sure sign that malevolence has taken that place. Oh, whatever it is, it's got a. It's got a thingy on its backside. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Combo effects. When you use the skill Exceed to pile up combos of 5 or greater, the combo effects will be effective up through the 8th hit. Wow, neat. Blast can also be used in combos of 5 or greater. Pressing R2 on the 5th hit of a combo will trigger a Partner Blast. Ooh. Neat. Well, if that's a Crucible, I'd best be ready. Save the game. Because chances are I'll be learning a different character. Miklio. Alright, let's do it, buddy. I got this. I have the innate ability to learn a, to learn a character like that. Just need to figure out what they're weak against. Water. Perfect. Got this. Ow, oh, ow, oh, okay. Ow, okay. Oh, that doesn't stop them from having really good range, though. Also, Miklio can't dodge. I was trying to dodge, he did not dodge. Eh. Well, I guess I know who I'm using for, for a little while. Mikleo! Get the point, man. Uh, there we go. You're the point, man, for the remainder of the episode. And we'll come back to the Crucible of Malevolence. That goose flew the chicken coop. That doesn't quite make sense. All right, let's take a look at his abilities. 
Resilient A is a healing ability, correct? Heals an ally in his HP and temporarily increases their art defense. Nice. Let's put that on my back X, since I don't normally use that for combat. Uh, twin Flow on your basic. Freeze Lancer on your forward, because that sounds dope. Ice Reaver there, and then... Splash. Unlock your inner Magikarp! Almost all of his abilities are water-based. Or all of his basic attacks are water-based. Gosh, I hope they don't put any fire-weak enemies against me. That would make me sad. Or wind, for that matter. I don't have any wind abilities. That could be bad. Unless I'm, unless I'm looking for a bird ability, then. Um... Thing here, kill birds. No. Shit. Quite a fearsome fighting style. From my standpoint. All right. Should I get comfortable with Miklio? Also, I have to figure out why he can't dodge. Is there a reason for that? I could have sworn everybody could dodge. Oh. Sure, why not? Um... Or two combos. Oh, huh, neat. Um, that's the thing here that would tell me why my partner can't just, or why one of my allies can't dodge. Experimentation is needed. Hey, you, come here. There he goes. I wasn't dodging before. Yes. I think it's just a matter of him not having quite as snappy attacks as Saray. That's throwing me off my game as well. Let's see if I can't find the other Norman before I go back and rechallenge that. This aroma. I do appreciate the crucibles of malevolence, though. It's an actually interesting way to push me to try different characters. Whereas normally I end up just playing the main character the like entire that? game. And you really want to fight me, huh? Yeah! Mess him up! They're just going at it! Okay.
Okay. Okay, I'm feeling better about Miklio now. Ah, skunk! I still haven't figured out where I'm supposed to look for all these stupid wheat fields. Guess I'll just go along this long fence and hope something jumps out at me. Saray, what do your eagle eyes tell you? You're supposed to be my point man. I have no idea where to look for the steer. You know, it's going to be something really obvious, and I'm going to be very upset at myself when I figure it out. Or it's going to be something stupid, and I'm going to be upset at the game. I don't know which is worse. That's it. Where the hell is that other Norman? Probably hiding with a wheat field that I'm supposed to be looking for. Oh, bastard. Wait, what's that? That looks like a Norman hat. You can't hide from me, Norman. I know your games. Huh? Get in the bag, Norman. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you do you. Can't wait to unlock some Lords of the Land so I can actually use those little guys. Ah! Skunk! I know I should be fighting more things, because... Eventually I'm going to need experience. But I also just want to find stuff. And they'll just impede my time. Maybe if I go this way along the along the fence this time, because I know I went towards the city entrance last time. Hello, orc friend. Are we cool? Hope we're cool. I gave it a shot. Oh, that's pretty good. Now, if only Saray would do the same. Nothing. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Nothing important from her. What's this green dot? Oh, hey, what up, guys? Is there a problem here? Oh, shit. It's rough, man. Well, good luck with that. <clears throat> I have to find the one single wheat field out of all these wheat fields that'll actually be that'll actually be interactable. Wheat, that's that's not easy. I'm gonna be here all day.
All right, let's let's go back. Let's give the Crucible Malevolence another shot. Now that I feel a little bit more confident with Miklio. Ooh, that's a that's a big one. Oh, cows! Here, Miklio. I made this for you. Stop trying to poison Miklio. What's that? Yes, I found you guys. Highland steer. A Highland steer. Excuse me while I salivate. Notice That's the gray weird. skin line from the neck to the sirloin. An A5 ring specimen. Um, it looks nice and all, but it's a cow. It's a cow, said the poor country bumpkin who'd never tasted the majesty of a real Highland steak. We're talking melt. Is it, is it that mouth. good? It's that good. And how can it be a Highland steer? This is Roland's. Is that really all you can think about? Presumably they're so called because they originally came from Highland. But we didn't see any when we were there. Raising large herds of them as actual livestock requires vast amounts of grazing land. Roland's geography is probably more suited to that kind of thing. That's I fair. See. I guess that makes sense. Of course, if the world doesn't get off its current path, all the cattle will die off, and it'll be a moot point. No! That's also true. Not the cows! Also, Drago stew is made with Highland beef. It's considered an auspicious dish due to the symbolism of eating Highland itself. Uh, uh okay. Mundane trivia. A sea rank specimen. Sheesh, forgive a girl for trying to lighten the mood. Wow. As always, Edna's a very harsh critic for comedy. But then again, what do you expect from the person who made arsenic a running gag? <sighs> These are my companions, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's save up and give this one more good old-fashioned try. I also managed to do Saray's probably because I've given him the best armor so far. So that could be a thing. Speaking of which, uh, Miklio, what can I do to help you? Any of these, actually. Uh, I mean, this isn't bad. I mean, it gives him that extra void slot, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there it is. Nope, uh, there we go. Oh, attack plus one when you level up. That's pretty dope. Neat. Not immediately helpful, but still neat. Time for battle. I'm dying. I am dying so hard. I can't stop. There we go. 
Ow. Oh, gosh. Wait, I got this. I don't know! <laughs> Mages are really hard to use solo! Point taken. Preferably. Which isn't much! Great. And that thing I don't have, that's great. And now I'm paralyzed. Great. This is fantastic. Thank you, Poison. What the hell's that? Oh, nothing. Good. Leo, all of your attacks have such high startup. It's not good. Get good. Resistant to water. And I'm paralyzed again. Great. Yep. Alright. That'll have to wait. Because... <sighs> Miglio's hard to use. He's got high startup. He's... Specifically water-based, so... I mean, I understand that. Doesn't make it any less rough. But we'll come back to that. Throwing water-resistant enemies at me, though, that's just mean. Come on. At least let me play to my strengths, or lack thereof. Jeez. Alright, well. I hope my, my flailing about and trying to find these wheat fields has been at least mildly entertaining. 
And if they were, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And we'll come back probably after I find the wheat field. I'll do a little bit of research between episodes and see if I can't just go there. Because wasting more time for that wheat field sounds a, like a pain in the ass. So, that's the plan. We'll be back soon. Till then, you'll have yourselves a frabjous day, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Later. <laughs>